Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Benfica have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. And we're underway. Pixie. into some space he's had a goal last ditch defending but that'll do just deflected behind for a corner It's been taken short. Now it's Joe. He's gone for it! Can he finish? Shakes the shoots. Goal! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pass to, to pick him out. Benfica take the early advantage. Benfica making the ideal start. It is something to build on. What a good start to the game. I think their play has been fast and inventive, and, and this is a fine example of early intent. They've begun as they mean to go on, and another goal is on the cards. Forward it goes. Jonas looking to get on the end of this. A really good feat from him, drilled in low. And now the breakaway. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. He's got away. Now it's Jonas. Jo and the shot! What about it? Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier.
Benfica have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Oh, great ball! Can he shoot? Promising cross. And he heaves it forward. That intervention was very necessary. Jonas. from a deep position Boots it to safety Benfica are in control here on the brink of half time now it's Jonas tries to get it forward quickly he'll have a dip there to make a great save well you can't ask for much more than that a difficult moment he simply had to deal with <laughs> he's played it short a reprieve albeit perhaps momentary Jonas, now it's Jonas, away from immediate danger, plays it out to the wing, that's a good block but at the expense of a corner, and it's been taken short, Decent effort as the first half draws to a close. Benfica produced a terrific spell at the end there, culminating in a chance that their fans could not believe did not go in. How's the first half compared with your expectation? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Benfica ahead 2 0, and they are looking good. Already up and running for the second half. The shot's on! And it's there! And they are cruising away. Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Benfica take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Aimed long and direct. And that is as far as they're going to go. Fischer. Andre Almeida. Fischer. And it's got through. He's left his man. Well, they can break here. Here it comes. Balls loose. Who's getting there? Can he deliver? Forward it goes. That's 
the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Well, his stealth has been compromised because of his goal, and his treatment from here looks as if it could get a little tighter. Chills one in. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Going for goal! And he should have made it four. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. So the ball's got out of play, and a change is upcoming. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Out to the left it goes, fires it in low. Oh, and he's got good distance, who's chasing? Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Well, he now knows that he has to lock in the timing. Success and failure depends on it. quickly so the manager making the last of his changes <laughs> is it out of harm's way well we don't need to guess that they expect plenty of, of ball into the box <laughs> it's quite a crowd scene in the middle now well, it's a situation that requires resilience now and, and plenty of fighting spirit. It has to be matched. Over to the left. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Jonas. Oh, that's nice. Big chance! He scored! Surely now they are well and truly out of sight. Just so calm under pressure. Pizzi demonstrated great strength there. I mean, he really had to hold his man off and just create enough room for him to be able to get the shot away. And I think it's just top, top play. It's become a case of men against boys. Andre Almeida. To the last five minutes. Lovely feet. Fischer. Oh, it's Fischer. Crosses it in low. Looking to shoot. They've done it! Well, just another one to add to what has already been an incredible haul. Listen, when you're on an invitation to improve your goal difference, why he's off? Snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. Benfica tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. 
No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. And time is up. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Benfica simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became as predictable as predicted. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good...